110-year-old mosque library torched by mob of 1,000 during Hindu festival. In a brazen display of violence, an armed mob of around 1,000 people stormed and destroyed a 110-year-old madrasa or Islamic school in the Indian city of Bihar Sharif. The attackers, believed to be Hindu nationalists, set fire to the institution's library and caused extensive damage, including destroying a collection of over 4,500 books. Eyewitness accounts described how the mob threw petrol bombs into the mosque and library, set vehicles alight, and even placed saffron flags on several shops before burning them down. One of the mosque's guards, who managed to flee, reported that the mob was armed with swords and rods and chanted Jai Shri Ram. The incident occurred during the Hindu-majority country's religious festival of Ram Navami, which led to communal violence not seen in the Bihar Sharif area since 1981. Despite the arrests of 77 people and internet services being temporarily suspended, it's another reminder of the religious tensions that plague India. So this is important because there was a lot of activity that happened during Ram Navami this year, and I know I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and there was a lot of violence that happened during Ram Navami last year. Um, but granted, this year it didn't seem as bad as last year. Last year, there was so much stuff that happened during this religious Hindu festival that we were covering the fallout of what happened for like a month because it, there was just so much that went down during Ram Navami. For those who don't know, Ram Navami is like celebrates the birth of Lord Rama. So obviously it's going to be very significant and particularly significant to people that are more Hindu nationalistic, right? Um, and, um, yeah, this, this really old mosque was destroyed and torched by a mob of like a thousand. Um, it was, it was, the, the footage of it is crazy. If you scroll down, um, I think we have some footage of the, uh, crowds and mobs that were in the area. Um, yes. So when you play this, don't play the audio because it's just like, you know, stupid backtrack music. Um, yeah. Um, Sakai is saying, dude, India is becoming more difficult for the West to keep as a strategic ally with crap like this. Armin, what do you think about that? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, United States and has shown that they could be allies with Saudi Arabia, even though they had, they were responsible for the worst humanitarian crisis of our lifetime in Yemen. So, and India is such an important ally to the West because um, the West's priority right now is um, tackling China and you cannot, you need India on your side and this, and this, you, you, yeah, it's very important to have India on your side. So I don't, I think that, I mean, they're going to maybe sometimes complain, but I, I don't think they're going to ever consider even, um, not having India as an ally. It's just so important. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? I don't think we have much of a choice. Yeah. So what we want was to pull it the Madrasa as much as possible? Yeah. Was it a madrasa or a library or a school because I've heard all three. I think it was all three at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a or mosque madrasa, and a madrasa and a library. Yeah, usually they're, usually they're all at the same the same thing. Yeah. When um oh shoot, I can't remember what yeah, when the Hindu, the the newspaper, the Hindu went to go um, photograph and cover the the attack, there were still the glass petrol bombs, like just lining the outside of the building. Oh my God, the sensitivity about like you know the whole building is burned, and this guy is like holding the corona. I'm like, oh look, the tragedy, dude! The building has been burned down. This is what you're showing. Yeah, okay, this is the, that's the tragedy. And I believe part of the school actually served as like a boarding house for students. And so now like these kids don't have a place to stay. Yeah, that's the loss. That's the loss here. Not your stupid book. 
Jesus Christ, look at this. Look, look at the picture. They're taking a picture like, oh, look, this is what a tragedy. God damn it. Look, this is your priority. This is what you're upset about. The building. The building. The, oh, my God. It's okay. Never mind. I'm, I'm complaining too much. Anyways. But this is important to consider because there was a lot of other stuff that happened during Ram Navami. So that was an example of some Hindu on Muslim violence during Ram Navami. And unfortunately, it goes both ways. So that's what this next topic is about because I think it's important to be balanced in the coverage. Oh, uh, you know, we didn't want to be going to be, you know, I knew, are they, I knew the, the criticism Hindus? that was coming and I, I telegraphed yeah, it. Yeah, people, you know, yeah, they were going to get like, oh, you were never sure to understand. You guys are just like so anti Hindu because you you guys would never dare. Okay, well, here we go. Um, can we clap <laughs> for the next news? I just want to what? point out that. Oxymoron in the live chat is just saying that he's a bit of a racist and people are like, yeah, I can see that. And it's not a good look, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say that as if it's not a problem. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. And we don't like that about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. That's not good. You should change that. Um, and how could you be racist to people who basically share your, your the same race? That's weird. Uh, no, no. Who's racist crap? towards white people? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Go on. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. See, that's the problem. That's the only joke that people accept. If I said that about anyone else, nobody would accept that. True. Um, yeah. Can about the story where they burned down the historic mosque library is that there were kids inside that building. And there were children oh. that almost died from smoke inhalation if it wasn't from one of the mosque like guards or custodians like finding these kids and pulling them out because they had like passed out because of all the smoke inhalation oh wow so there okay. were almost kids that died in the previous attack this one is like okay, okay so you know having thrones and slippers stone thrown at you that is dangerous you can be concussed and like actually seriously injured but see, we have level. just confirmed that we have a bias this is our inner <laughs> islam showing Okay, we're just, we just just can't help us. Even when we try to be fair, we have to always say that the Hindus are are worse. See, mm -hmm. this is why. Armin, don't say that. Armin, don't say you know. that. You don't mean that, guys. He doesn't mean it. Um, no, I'm just yeah. Okay, I'm making fun of the accusations, guys. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary. Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.